What do you remember about 2018 and seeing the crowds out here? Yeah, it was spectacular. Um, I just remember it would kind of get bigger and bigger each round and more and more people and you see the whiteout party or things like that. It's just pretty cool and you realize that you're playing for something a lot bigger and how much it means for people. The last time the Winnipeg Jets were a playoff team was 2021. Kyle Connor shoots and he scores! Triple overtime series winner! After sweeping the Edmonton Oilers, they were swept themselves by the Montreal Canadiens. remember about your last playoff berth? Um, I mean, the last one, kind of a up and down, I guess. We swept Edmonton and, you know, a ton of elation, excitement, and then get swept by Montreal. And those are the ups and downs of the playoffs right there. But um, unfortunately, no fans were in the stands. It wasn't the same as, say, you know, my past experiences in the whiteout when we, you know, went to the conference final. Yeah, it, it was just wasn't the same. Few teammates knew Josh Morrissey was carrying a weight even heavier than a province's Stanley Cup aspirations. His father was in a battle with brain cancer. Tom Morrissey passed away August 8, 2021. I want to ask you a little bit about your dad. You had a hard, hard couple of years. I had a chance to speak to Bev, your mom, and you know she said it wasn't only everything you went through with your father, it was everything that you went through after his passing. Just all of these moments in your life you had to do for the first time without him. And just, you know, how did you get through? Yeah, it was tough, obviously. Um, you don't really know how to deal with those situations till you're put in them. And I think even going through it, I didn't really know how to deal with it. And then going back for that season, the shortened year, um, kind of knowing the situation that he was dealing with and the unfortunate sort of timeline that they had given him, then he was doing everything he could to to, to, to not make that a, a reality. But um, the one thing that he just said to me was, you know, and my brother was when, when he, you know, after he passes, just not to hold on to it, but just go and, and live your life. And since then, I've probably enjoyed being at the rink, enjoyed the sights and sounds of the NHL, the excitement of the crowd and, and everything else in between that much more. You were one of the guys who really knew what was going on. I mean, can you talk about the transformation in Josh as he had to go through what he went through and then eventually just found himself again? Josh is still a young guy and to see somebody have to deal with those type of uh, big events was, was tough. And you know, obviously his dad was a big part of his life and had to mourn and, and go through all the grieving and all those emotions. And now, you know, I think you see a guy who's just Freedom is the best word I can use to describe it because you can see it in, in him every day and um, just kind of the joy he brings to the game into the rink every, every day now. That next season, 2021-22, was statistically his best, setting highs for goals, assists, time on ice, blocks, hits. This season has been even better. Here's Josh Morrissey on the move, back and he scores! There's no stopping Josh Morrissey this season. When did you get to the point where you started to feel, I don't know if better is the right word, but maybe happier? Like you, you felt that you were returning to yourself. I had carried so much weight in that season before and it was so difficult, um, you know, knowing what he was going through, feeling, you know, his decline um, health-wise and kind of understanding that it would be the last year he watched me play. and. Um, just all of those things. That, that was the toughest year of, of my, my career and my life. So getting back to the rink that first year, uh, first day of training camp, I would say that was sort of the first moment where I felt like I was, you know, not um, carrying that, that weight anymore and just looking forward to the next, you know, season and part of my life. Taking off it over the line with Barron going to the net. Scores! Josh Morrissey! And he's fired up this Winnipeg crowd! What have you noticed from him this year and just what has gotten him to an even higher level than we've seen before? Well, you can see his confidence. It's just so high and I've always known how good he is and, and his potential. And I don't think this is the best season he's gonna have in his career. I think there's way more for him. And 
That being said, this is a great year for him, so um, I'm really excited for his future. He's done uh, such a great job of improving his game. Like you see him on the offense, on the blue line, he's shaking guys in the confidence with the puck. We've played every team this year. I haven't seen a lot of guys do that at the top. Maybe him, Carlson, and you know, Makar. Like, those are kind of the only guys I've seen do it routinely. My mother passed away when I was 11. She was 35. Um, and I remember the best advice I got at that time was, your parents don't like it when you're not happy, mm -hmm. right? So, like, be happy in, in his honor. And I wondered if you, anyone ever said anything like that to you or you thought about it like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, um, you know, I read something as well about, you know, the greatest thing you can do is, you know, kind of try to live and, and, and feel like you make your parent proud, whether they're there or not. And, and certainly when he was around, uh, you know, I always wanted to make him proud when he'd watch me play. And I think afterwards, I think the most proud he was of me was when I was happy and playing the game I loved and just kind of living in the moment. My dad was a, a, a teacher uh, in his early days. Um, and I felt like he was always teaching me or my brother lessons maybe that was his final lesson to us was uh you know to to i guess look at life differently and and um so that's kind of the way i, I see it another white out in winnipeg tremendous atmosphere the jets have been so dominant here seeing the fans the winnipeg whiteout whiteout conditions at bell mts place for the stanley cup playoffs Playoff hockey returns to Winnipeg after a four-year hiatus, and with it, one of the sport's greatest phenomena, the whiteout. Well, just imagine you're coming on the ice and the building is white. Yeah. You know what this is gonna look like. What's it like to step on the ice when it's like this? Yeah, it's just electric. I mean, uh, you know, having played in these games over the years, you're not really thinking, you're kind of just completely in the moment. It's so loud, you can't even hear yourself think. You kind of forget how tired you actually are. And it gives you that energy. Is there a louder crowd anywhere in the NHL? It's the whiteout and it's the loudest in my opinion. No, let's, let's, don't be so nice. You're being <laughs> nice, Josh Morrissey. Let's come right out and say it. Winnipeg, the loudest crowd in the NHL. Winnipeg's the loudest crowd in the NHL. Most fun to play here.